Hello. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a good reaction. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know about you guys. Um, I don't know if you have this. I certainly do, about two or three times a day. But um, if you're sitting on the loo, sort of scrolling through Facebook, <laughs> do you ever just sort of stop and think to yourself, is this it? <laughs> is this me? <laughs> is this who I am now? <laughs> and then you pause and you think to yourself, Yes. <laughs> this is who I am. I've found my comfort zone, my safe space, my fortress of solitude. <laughs> Honestly, lavatory, best place in the world. Uh, worked in an office, um, which is great, and uh, honestly, lavatory's there, perfect. <laughs> Everyone else working all together, communally, me, private office <laughs> in my fortress of solitude <laughs> it's great you know no one can find you no one can touch you I mean they can try but it's an HR case <laughs> um, yeah and you know if you're tired you have a little nap it's great sort of like if you sit down there and sort of lean over get the toilet rolls just right you just sort of squeeze yourself up there for a couple of hours it's absolutely fantastic you have to be careful though, you know, just afterwards, just make sure you don't have a little bog roll or something just attached to your face when you're having a conversation with the CEO. And that's why I don't work there anymore. Um, uh, I was working at this place and um, it, uh, they just introduced this new sort of inter-office messaging system. Uh, and they said, you know, no, guys, it's really fantastic. You can book meetings with each other. Uh, have a play around with it for a week and uh, then we'll tell you how it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we all had a play around and a week went by. Um, and we went, we went to the meeting and they said, oh yeah, so this is how you, uh, you do it. You type something in, you just press send. Simple. Uh, but by the way, guys, this um, is for business, not pleasure. We can see what you're typing. <laughs> I have never seen a faster group of besuited men in my life than when that meeting finished. Like a herd of pinstripe gazelles charging back to their monitors to check what they'd said. Oh my god, I asked Deborah out for a drink on that. I asked Hugo to pay me for that gram on Saturday. As opposed to me, went back to my fortress of solitude to wait for it all to blow over. Um, speaking of shitholes, uh, thank you. Hey, uh, speaking of shitholes, I've um, just moved, uh, just moved house. Uh, gone from a really, really awful place to yet another awful place. But it's closer to the tube, so less time for me to get stabbed on the way back, which is nice. Um, but I've been going through the whole system of uh, moving out with the people that you were living with. I was living with these really nice uh, people, so I thought. Uh, people that I've been friends with for years and I suddenly realised that the people that you move in with are not the people that you move out from. <laughs> the people that you held dear in your heart at the start of tenancy are the people that you loathe at the end of it. The people who at the start you found it incredibly endearing when they were walking around in their pants eating cheese and farting. <laughs> but by the end you've become the person who's hiding the cheese and the pants. <laughs> Say no, be naked, eat a yakult. <laughs> uh, and also one of the things that I've experienced is the dreaded, I don't know if any of you guys uh, uh, have rented or are renting or luckily own a house. Uh, but at the end of a tenancy, you, uh, you have the dreaded end of tenancy professional clean. You know, it doesn't matter how much bleach you self-asphyxiate yourself with, you have to get the professional cleaners in. And at that point, you send a message around to everyone saying, oh yeah, by the way, you know, it's going to cost that much. And there's always the one tenant in the house who just pops up and says, yeah, mate, um, you know that, uh, you know, about four months ago I bought you, um, 
bought you a couple of beers down the pub, didn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that, that, I mean, you know, it's eight quid, make it ten. Let's make it ten. I think there are crisps involved. Even twenty, mate, even twenty. What has he been doing for four months? <laughs> what has he been doing other than sitting over his ledger going, soon, soon you shall pay for my share of the cleaning bill. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, that's when I realised that I need to get out. Um, I need to get out and find a girlfriend, really. Um, because that'd be nice. Um, and guys, I, I, I just want to sound you out on this one. Um, usually it was a focus group, if you will. Um, I, I've developed a system uh, for finding a, a girlfriend. Uh, it's, it's slightly unique. Um, I'm just going to ask a question. Is it okay to hit on your cousins at funerals. <laughs> and is it not their funerals? That would be creepy. Yes, okay, good. Show of hands. No? Yes, good. Doesn't have to be cousins. Could be anyone. Look, funerals at the end of the day are a perfect place to pick people up. I will tell you for why, don't worry. Um, firstly, everyone's dressed in black. And let's face it, that's slimming. <laughs> Secondly, you uh, have a mutual topic of conversation in the box in front of you. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like deal or no deal, isn't it? Who's going to get the money? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, I mean, last but not least, everyone is emotionally vulnerable. Um, I, I will give you a piece of advice though, if you do want to uh, shark on people at a funeral, um, get there early, get, get to the back um, before the procession comes in, you can watch them all going in, in their slimming black, they'll think that you're blessing them, no, 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 you're swiping right on real life Tinder. <laughs> I'll see you by the sausage rolls later. <laughs> um, yeah, because, I mean, real-life Tinder, I personally find, is, is a bit of a faff, really. Um, I mean, I, I had one match, which was nice. Uh, the rest of it is just a list of girls that don't want to go out with me. <laughs> um, but no, I, uh, I, I had a match and she, she, she was fantastic. Um, she had everything that I wanted in a woman, you know, a, a blonde, beautiful, breathing. Um, uh, and you know, I, I thought, oh, this is fantastic. She's everything that I want. Let's, let's go on a date, quickly. Um, so, you know, I thought, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's not do drinks, though. That's old hat. Let's go for brunch. You know, so I, uh, I thought, okay, cool. I'm going to pick out this uh, nice little place. Found a place in Shoreditch. Uh, you know, uh, sort of place where uh, all of the bartenders, uh, you know, all the baristas rather, have uh, beards and beanies looking really cool, as opposed to me, <laughs> looking like an accountant on his day off. <laughs> That's no offence to any accountants in the room, by the way. You know, you do a job. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, uh, no, so I, I said, okay, cool, let's, let's pick this place. It's the sort of place that had um, all of the cutlery in massive baked bean cans on the table. Unique. <laughs> uh, so I said, so, uh, I said, let's meet there, and I, uh, I, I went, went there, and she was there. She turned up. Fantastic. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, so I got in there, and I said, God, she looks absolutely wonderful. She's everything that I wanted and more. I think I'm in love. We will probably get married. <laughs> um, and as I walked through the door, I, I noticed, oh, she, she brought her dog with her. It's nice. I mean, you usually mention that you, you've got a dog. For some reason, you know, oh, I love animals. So do I. Delicious. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> sorry, vegan country. That was bad. Wasn't it? Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, so, um, well, she had this dog, and I, as I got a bit closer, I thought, oh, what a wonderful high-vis harness it's wearing. Um, all... Go, no, no, I promise you it's true. Uh, <laughs> I didn't write it. Uh, uh, you know, all high-vis and government-issued. She's blind. 
that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You know, I thought, okay, cool, we can go with this. Um, it, you know, it's cool. You know, she brought her guide dog with her. It's not like she brought her cat or gerbil or fish. <laughs> I mean, that would be weird. A fish would be very, very strange to bring to a date, just holding it. You know, or Japanese restaurant, entree. Um, so, you know, I walked up and I said, oh, well, uh, uh, um, hi, Amy. Sorry, shouldn't use her real name. Let's forget that. Take it off Twitter. Um, hi, Emily. Right, let's go with that one. Uh, hi, Emily. Uh, you know, nice to meet you. You look absolutely beautiful. She didn't return the compliment for obvious reasons <laughs> um, and so I said okay cool you know lovely to meet you let's have a, a little read of, of the menus how are we going to do that <laughs> I realised that I have to be that twazak who in a restaurant reads out every single thing on the menu in excruciating detail <laughs> you know ooh, smashed avocado on toast very in uh, scrambled eggs at any time of the day. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Smoked salmon on toast. Bit expensive, didn't mention that one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, we made our orders. I went for the, frankly, futuristic scrambled eggs. Uh, she went for the smoked salmon. It's fine. There's an overdraft of that. Um, and so, you know, it was cool. We were chatting. The conversation was flowing like a river or a fine wine. <laughs> Never said that one before. That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you know the conversation was flowing, and um, you know I said, um, uh, "Okay, right." I thought the cutlery is in a baked bean can. She doesn't know. I mean, what do I do? I I could tell her, but that would be a strange thing to say in the middle of a frankly wonderful and sparkling conversation. Um, I could lay her a place, or would that be patronising? I could rattle it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it was getting far too awkward by this point, so I thought, look, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask. And I said, look, I, I just, I really wanna know, do you see shapes, or, or shadows, or is it just all black? She said, I beg your pardon? I said, look, look I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean any offence, but do you see shapes or shadows or is it just all black? At that moment, the chap at the next table picked up the lead and was guided out of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, that's the last time that I ever go on a blind date. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you.